It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics on V103. All right, time for the Law and Order edition of the Trending Topics, people. A lot to cover. Work with me. Let's get this thing started. Give me that sound. Takashi 6 9 allegedly, supposedly, is looking to cut a deal with the feds. Play guilty to nine total counts, including racketeering, conspiracy, firearms offenses, and narcotics trafficking. Page 6 rep- pointed out that the latest non-trade court indictment does not list Daniel Hernandez as a defendant. That suggests he may have flipped and turned informant, providing valuable information and evidence to a U.S. attorney's office. Since he wasn't listed in the group indictment, legal types are speculating that details around Takashi's cooperation and potential plea agreement have been sealed for confidentiality purposes. A lot of people looking a little sideways to do. Now, sources close to Takashi told TMZ TV since his uh, arrest in November, he spent thousands of dollars on personal security for his mother because he fears for anyone looking for revenge against him will come for her. Uh, his attorney says he has the means to pay for his family's private security, so the government expects the money to come out of his pocket to protect his closest family members. Many reports indicated since he's submitting that guilty plea, he's likely uh, made a deal with the authorities. Uh, so we'll see what happens. It's just a little little question mark around that situation. Story developing. This week here in Atlanta, a lot of uh, law and order happened. Bow Wow was arrested for alleged domestic, uh, alleged domestic violence. Accused of assaulting his on-again, off-again girlfriend, Kiyomi Leslie, who appears with him on Growing Up Hip Hop. Both Bow Wow and his lady had their mugshots taken early Saturday morning. C says he assaulted her while he says it was actually the opposite. In his mugshot, several long scratches can be seen on his forehead and under his right eye. He wound up being booked for battery and substantial physical harm and was later released on $8,000 bail. When paparazzi caught up with Bow Wow leaving Magic City, he said his lawyer told him to keep quiet about the incident, but then they released this particular statement. Shad Shad Bow Wow Moss was wrongfully arrested earlier this morning for the first time after being beaten by an out-of-control intoxicated Mrs. Leslie Holden in, in an Atlanta condominium. The only two independent witnesses both corroborated his version of events, indicating Ms. Holden was simply out of control and was without a doubt the primary aggressor. She beat him with a lamp, bit him on his side, and spit on him while Bow Wow continually made efforts to avoid her. Bow Wow suffered multiple injuries some of which are visible in his mugshot. Miss Holden's mugshot, on the other hand, speaks for itself despite her allegation to police that she broke a fingernail. Story developing. Also here in Atlanta, 21 Savage arrested by ICE. Wait a minute. Apparently riding around with young nudie was pulled over for whatever reason. They all got taken down, and once they ran his name, turns out, he was picked up by ICE. Yeah, Customs. Yeah, Immigration and Customs Enforcement. TMZ reporting he is a British citizen who entered the country in 2005, which would have been when he was about 12. His visa has since expired, and he caught a felony drug charge in 2014, which could jeopardize his status. Most people believed he was a native of Atlanta, not the United Kingdom. From what I understand, he was born in Dominica, and then he moved to uh, Britain, got his Britain citizenship, citizenship, then moved to Atlanta. A lot of people, there was a lot of jokes going around. One of the people who thought it was cute was Demi Lovato, and then uh, lots of people came for her. She's since deleted her account, including Wale, who said, why is someone's freedom funny? I don't get the joke. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of lot, I mean, a lot to talk about. We'll see what happens, whether or not that felony is going to keep him in the country or get him kicked out of the country. And last but not least, give me one more. So, Soldier Boy accused of kidnapping a woman at his L.A. home. Really? TMZ reporting a woman was at Soldier's house Friday night but was told to leave after she got into an argument. As she drove down the driveway, she clipped the curb and was approached by Soldier's assistant who began fighting with her. Soldier came out to break things up, but the woman claims he punched and kicked her and then brought her into the, gar- into the garage where he tied her up and kept her for six hours. Once she was allowed to leave, she contacted the police and went to the hospital where she claims she was treated for three fractured ribs and a concussion. Police confirmed there's an active kidnapping investigation but haven't confirmed the suspect's name. Soldier's manager has denied the woman's allegations. Rough reeking for the rappers out here. I'm just saying. You missed any part? V-103.com. More Big Ticket Show happens right now. 